getting a blood transfusion used to be a gamble. There was an unknown disease causing liver damage, and it wasn't hepatitis A or B. In 1989, three scientists were able to clone the unnamed virus and called it hepatitis C. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine awards the discovery of the hepatitis C virus. Americans Harvey Alter and Charles Rice, along with British-born scientist Michael Houghton, are considered pioneers in their field. The Nobel Committee says thanks to their discovery, highly sensitive blood tests for the virus are now available. Their discovery also allowed the rapid development of antiviral drugs directed at hepatitis C. For the first time in history, the disease can now be cured. Hepatitis C is a chronic disease found in the blood that can cause liver cancer and psoriasis. Many sufferers need liver transplants. The World Health Organization estimates more than 70 million cases worldwide, with 400,000 people dying from the disease every year. The discovery happened so long ago that the scientists weren't picking up their phones from the Nobel Committee to get the news. I called them a couple of times before uh, without any answer, but once I reached them, they were extremely surprised. And it has taken decades to fully measure the impact of their discovery. It's critical to go to the, to the beginning to really understand the basic original discoveries that have really enabled. There's so much else that has happened, so many uh, advances in therapy, etc. But that's made possible by this initial discovery of the actual virus. The disease primarily strikes stigmatized populations like illegal drug users and the poor. In developing countries, contaminated medical equipment or procedures infect millions. And in developed countries like the U.S., unscreened blood transfusions and needles can spread the virus. And when it comes to the latest virus pandemic, COVID-19, this year's Nobel winners offer hope for finding a cure. But one like this should humble us in recognizing that doing good against viruses that are going to be associated with a lot of stigma, that's what science is about. Science is about defending those who feel stigmatized and oftentimes don't pursue medical care because of that stigma and shame. Because of the pandemic, the Nobel announcement ceremony was virtual. And with no COVID vaccine, the celebration of other medical discoveries continues online too. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.